Hey y'all. Okay. <laughs> so last time that we talked, which I mean, it's been like a couple of videos. Well, a lot of videos. And it's been several months. Last time we talked, I had just missed my period for like two months, right? I was not pregnant at that time. I was not pregnant. Um, my period did end up coming. I, 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 a lot of people have been asking me for an update for that video. My period did end up coming um, and my doctor had just told me that, uh, you know, I have a regular period. So whatever, basically I had to deal with it. But now I'm pregnant. <laughs> now I'm officially pregnant. I hope my glasses don't give like a weird glare. I might have to take them off. But um, now I am officially pregnant. So it's really exciting um we found out that we were pregnant in june so if you guys are watching this video it's november so i'm like super pregnant by now um but so uh, we found out we were pregnant in june uh, a few weeks ago we found out we were having a boy so baby homin is a boy which is really exciting um and yeah so i want to update you guys on that and to tell you guys how second trimester has been going for me um first trimester was terrible i'm not even gonna lie it was terrible i was sick the month of June and half of July, I didn't even get up out of my bed. Um, I lost 15 pounds in the first trimester. Um, it was rough. I wasn't throwing up, but I wanted to. And I don't know about any of you, but like, if you can't throw up, like that just makes you feel even worse and even more sick. So, yeah, first trimester, whoo. A young thug don't want to do that ever again even though i know i'm probably gonna have more kids i'm just like please god don't let me go through that experience because that was really tough um but people say that your um like second and third pregnancy are all like different and sometimes they're easier and blah 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 so i hope that's the case because child tay might not be able to get another baby out of me but anyway let me jump in and tell you guys about second trimester so i have my phone with notes because I, I've been writing things down and I've been journaling um, a little bit just so I can like remember certain moments and stuff like that so yes here's the update of second trimester first things first oh my gosh first off my breasts have gotten a lot bigger which I'm so happy about like I'm so proud of these things like I've always been proud of them but like I'm super proud of them right now because they're just like whoa but my nipples are incredibly sore they're incredibly sensitive i called my mom crying like all the time about like what should i do they hurt so bad like it's 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 not like it's a tightness like i have a tightness in them and it just hurts so freaking bad and i hear people talk about like breastfeeding and how tough that is so i'm just like oh my gosh if i can't get through whatever this is i can only imagine how i'm gonna be when i'm breastfeeding but we're gonna get there when we get there because it's gonna happen but oh my gosh the soreness is insane uh next thing is that i am super i'm still like super emotional but not as bad as i was in my first trimester um in my first trimester like everything made me cry like i was just so sensitive about every little thing if you looked at me wrong i was ready to cry that's how bad it was and i'm not a crier so that was like a really interesting change from like oh you know i'm like you know this hard person or whatever and then now all of a sudden you look at me and I'm crying so that was like a really interesting like transition but um lately I have been I've been emotional about certain things but um I feel like I'm getting like back to normal the only thing is that Tay can get under my skin like nobody's business and he could do this before I was pregnant so I, I mean nothing really changed but like now I just look at him and I'm just like I can't believe you would say that to me like, I just bust out crying I just afterwards I'm just like what in the world and then he's looking at me like I want to laugh at you but I know you're gonna cry if I laugh so I'm not gonna laugh and then it makes me cry more so I'm just like oh okay so that's like my emotions right now I'm still going through like an up and down kind of wave but I feel like now that I'm in second trimester like things are evening out and I'm not as like erratically emotional I'm just like a few times <laughs> emotional <laughs> okay another thing is that I am always tired I'm always like exhausted I always want to take a nap I'm always sleepy I'm always tired which is so weird because I'm also suffering from insomnia well so I guess it's not weird because if I'm always tired and then I'm not sleeping because I have insomnia then that's why I'm tired well I just worked that out um so so, so yeah I am always tired but it's not just like um I'm, I'm, I'm like sleepy like it's not just that I'm sleepy it's also like I can't walk up our stairs like we I live on the third floor it is hard getting up here it is exhausting um and so I struggle to get up and down the steps with Benzie to walk him like child 
I be trying to bribe Tay, like, Tay, could you please let him down? Or, or um, we have this thing where I'll send the dog down the steps and then he'll send the dog back to me. Because I'm just like, I can't keep going up and down these steps. Uh, Instacart has become my best friend. I just now started going back grocery shopping. Because I will say, my first trimester, I had no energy. Like, I was not getting out of bed. I don't want to go nowhere. I don't want to do anything. This trimester, I am a lot more alert i'm a lot more active i'm getting out i'm doing things but it's just exhausting for me so I'm, I'm just tired after i've done something like walking like talking like right now i'm tired um, so so like yeah second trimester is definitely exhausting but i agree like a lot of people are like you get your energy back it's true you do get your energy back so in addition to being like tired all the time i'm also like always out of breath like I feel like I'm like when I'm talking and y'all know I talk fast so like that doesn't help because like I'm trying to like catch up and so, <laughs> so it's like this weird thing because because I always think in my mind like if you would just slow down with talking you would at least be able to breathe but even when I'm not talking I could be just sitting at rest and get out of breath so I think that that's like also a symptom of second trimester at least that's something that I'm experiencing is like I am out of breath a lot I'm also always like really thirsty like <laughs> realize how much energy it takes to like breathe and walk and like do all these different things and so normal tasks that wouldn't have exhausted me exhaust me now and it makes me thirsty like because you know I've walked the flight of stairs I need to drink a gallon of water I've went to the bathroom need to drink a gallon of water I'm blinking I need to drink a gallon of water like everything requires me to drink water which I'm glad that like I'm choosing a healthy drink but like still it's like ugh. I'm tired of drinking water because I'm tired of peeing, which is another thing. I cannot stop using the bathroom. Like, <laughs> I wake up in the middle of the night, and that's probably another, like, cause of the insomnia. Like, I'm waking up in the middle of the night. I'm always going to the bathroom. Like, I'm so over going to the bathroom, it's ridiculous. I, when I wake up in the middle of the night, I'm just like, I should just put a diaper on because I don't want to get up. Like, <laughs> I don't want to do this. So, um, so, yeah, like, I have been having to go to the bathroom so much more, um, and then it, it doesn't help that like because I'm always thirsty I'm drinking more water which means I'm gonna go to the bathroom so it's a it's a vicious cycle like I feel like second trimester is like oh you feel better but like here are these stumbling blocks for you to run over as you're like trying to get your life back together or life on track but I mean hey I'm excited I'm still really excited about being pregnant it's just like I didn't realize there were so many like little things that happen during pregnancy that really nobody can kind of prepare you for like you just have to experience it to know like what it is and when you experience it then you're like okay got it like <laughs> A lot of people um, on Instagram, have, because a lot of everybody on Instagram and Facebook already knew, um, so YouTube, I'm sorry you guys are the last ones to find out, but I know a lot of you guys like went and followed me and found me on social media, so you guys actually probably do know, but um, I haven't been, like people are asking me if I have cravings, I haven't had any weird cra cravings, honestly. Um, I, I mean, unless you count McDonald's cheeseburgers, because that is something that's weird, because even as a kid, I didn't eat. Really, I didn't really eat McDonald's cheeseburgers. And then also, um, a few years ago, maybe like six years ago, I became a pescatarian. Child, pescatarian went out the window with this baby because I'm not even impressed about what I'm eating or anything like that. I don't even worry about it anymore. If I want it, if I see it, if I like it, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> so, so, um, so yeah, like I, um, I have been eating like mcdonald's cheeseburgers but i really haven't had like any cravings or there's never been really a time that i'm just like oh my god i need to have this except for um there were like a couple of weeks where i was obsessed with rice and gravy um well tay's mom she made me a bunch of rice and gravy and so i just ate off of that for like a week um but besides that like really no weird cravings oh another symptom i guess that i'm experiencing in second trimester is pregnancy brain I did not know that this was a real thing pregnancy brain is apparently like you are forgetful because you're pregnant um people also say there's like a such thing as mom brain where you forget things because you're a mom whatever but listen pregnancy brain is actually a real thing because i forget so much if i don't write it down it's as good as forgotten i'm not even worried about it anymore i don't care and i just keep it moving like it, it, it's if I don't write something down it's like it never happened or like or like you never talk to me about it because even if you try to tell me like no we had this conversation you said blah blah, blah. I'm still gonna look at you like no we didn't like <laughs> I feel so bad for my friends or like my family because they're just like I can't believe you don't remember I don't I'm sorry something else that I've been forgetting lately too is like to put on pants like the other day I went to go let Benzie out and or take him outside like I was walking him and I didn't have on any pants and I just walk outside and because it's cold 
that's what made me like remember like oh my god i'm not wearing any pants let me go put some pants on like it's that real like it's that real another symptom i feel like i have so many symptoms but i want to share everything because i've watched a few videos but i feel like people don't like say all the different things and i mean like this is my perspective of what i've gone through so i'm just gonna share it but i have been in, like really warm really hot and really sweaty now luckily for me I'm not pregnant during the summer because I think that this trimester would have took me out in the summer um, because I'm I'm so sweat like I'm already a sweaty person when I was not pregnant but now that I am pregnant I'm even more sweaty like everything's hot underneath my boobs in between them under my arms are always sweating and then I'm gonna just be honest between my legs is always sweaty you know and so like I'm constantly having to like having to change my underwear or I'm constantly having to um, change my pants because I'm like sweating through everything so it's like a sweaty mess and um, that's something like that's like the most gross part of what I'm experiencing right now is that like I'm so sweat like I've always been a sweaty person but I'm even more sweaty now which leads me to another thing I'm always in the tub um, because sometimes I have like pains which they say are like round ligament pains um, but I'm always having like different types of pains and different types of like aches and stuff like that so I spend a lot of time in the tub but also I spend a lot of time in the tub because I'm too tired to stand up in the shower I um I it's, it's a lot easier for me to clean myself if I'm sitting in the tub and then also like I'm always a hot mess and so I want to like feel clean and like rinse myself off so uh, sometimes I'm taking a warm bath sometimes I'm taking a cold bath whatever it is like make me feel better but like I have found that baths have been like really helpful in the second trimester first trimester I wasn't even trying to I wasn't even trying to get up honey but second trimester like I have been able to get up and so now I'm like not well I, I shower sometimes but really it's like a daily bath for me every single day which is so that's kind of out of the norm because i don't usually sit down in the tub i usually shower so that's just something interesting and dealing with like the whole sweating thing and it's kind of like taking a bath also soothes me so um if you are like experiencing any kind of like real aches and pains like you don't have someone that can give you a massage or like your partner's not available or whatever get in the tub like get you know a warm a warm bath and kind of soak in it and that might help with your with your symptoms because i know child i will fall asleep in the tub real quick <laughs> real quick so speaking since i'm talking about these aches and pains also i feel like i've been i've been having a lot more aches and pains in this second trimester so um it started out as like a small backache and now it's kind of moved into like okay this is uncomfortable and so i'll have tay like massage me but he's not always available to do it and it just kind of sucks so um i heard about there's some kind of ball that you can get that you can like put against a surface and like massage yourself so i'm gonna um probably purchase that because i feel like i'm gonna need something as as i get further along to uh massage me if tay's not available which <laughs> another thing is that I don't want to be touched right now um i am so anti-touch i i cringe when someone touches me it's just uh uh and tay wants to touch me so much and i'm just like little boy leave me alone because touching me is what got me into the situation like but he's like oh your belly oh you're so cute all the and i'm just like move so i hope like none of this stuff sounded like a lot of complaining because like one thing i will say is like in my first trimester i was i was the one that was saying like people on youtube are lying the bloggers are lying like nobody's telling the truth about how rough pregnancy is blah 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 but i think that i realize now that a lot of people are talking about their experience after they've experienced it so like i can talk about second trimester oh by the way i'm 26 weeks i think um but i can talk about second trimester and first trimester with a smile now because i'm past it and so it's not that people are being fake it's just that like they're over it. like nobody's recording how they feel like in the middle of it and so like i wish i would have did more recording of like me in the first trimester because y'all would have been rolling because like i girl i would not change out i had a, i had a dress that i was wearing for like a week straight my grandmother gave me this dress and it's like a really flowy dress child i did not change out of that thing for a week i was over being pregnant in the first trimester in the first trimester so um so yeah i hope like this doesn't sound like complaining because i'm actually like really excited and really happy about like all the things that i've experienced so far but here are like a couple of things that i'm actually like super super happy about so in the second trimester i felt the baby kick or i have been feeling the baby kick um i felt the flutters probably at like week maybe 16 i think it was like week 16 anyway 
it was so awesome because it feels like tickles on the inside and so I was like I was in the shower when I felt it um and so I was in the shower and I was like oh my god what is this and it was like these tickles and I was like and I probably spent 30 minutes in the shower just laughing because I was like is he tickling me or is he like you know but I know that he was moving but like to me I was just like he's tickling me like this is so funny so um it was really really cute in the beginning and I mean it's still cute now um he's not like kicking me to the point that it hurts I know people say like as they get bigger it like starts to hurt so I haven't got to that point yet but um but I definitely feel like he's strong like <laughs> he's not he's not no joke Hey guys, in the middle of editing, I remembered something um, I forgot to share with you guys that Tay also felt the baby kick. Um, the baby actually kicked Tay in the head. So Tay was laying on my stomach. It was so cute. He was just laying on my stomach and the baby kicked him in the head. It was the funniest thing ever because he was like, did he just hit me? And I was like, yeah, he did. So that's been really exciting because now Tay can finally feel the baby. So like I had like maybe a month, like six weeks where it was just me feeling the baby, but now he can feel the baby. So it's like really, really exciting. And I wanted to share that because like, that's a big deal. And I wanted to like remember this moment later on so I can like remember to myself, like the baby literally kicked Tay in the head. And that was funny. <laughs> also, he's been kicking like a lot more. Like he kicks more times a day. So like in the beginning, I felt flutters, but it might have been like once, once a day or twice a day. But now I feel him throughout the day. But there are some days that I don't feel him as much. And it's, it's usually days that I haven't gotten any sleep um, and we're up together. So like he was kicking all night and we were both up all night. So then that next day, I don't feel him as much. And then it makes me sad. Like that's the emotional part of me. It makes me sad because I'm just like, well, wake up. Like, don't you want to play? <laughs> weird but I just get so sad like okay come on like let's do something today um but yeah so the whole kicking thing and feeling that like actually being able to feel him now is super super exciting uh let me show you guys my belly sorry I'm wearing pajama pants but that's all I can fit so well so here I am today now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't look as big as I thought it would but it looks bigger from the front but here we are at 20, I think we're at 26 weeks. So that's really exciting. Oh, he just kicked. Yay. He says, hello, baby Homan says, hi guys. <laughs> he just kicked on this side. See, like it makes me so happy. Like another really awesome part of second trimester or like another really awesome thing now of being pregnant is Tay thinks I'm like the sexiest thing on earth. And I, you know, sometimes like you're looking like, I have to say when I look in the mirror I'm just like you don't look the same anymore <laughs> like you look a whole different you know person which I am a whole different person but like it's so nice because I mean well first off I don't wear pants a lot so maybe that's like also the thing but like it's really nice to have a partner that um still desires you or still thinks you're attractive while you're pregnant because your body goes through so many different changes and sometimes you can feel like a little bit self-conscious and um i've heard from other moms like how their partner kind of like withdrew away from them because of the, the changes that their body made but tay has not been like that at all tay's been very um hands-on to my dismay sometimes but he's been very hands-on and um he loves that my stomach is growing like he always wants to cuddle He's always wanting to talk to the baby. Um, he's just very like, he loves the bump. Like he, he's like really happy about the bump, which makes me feel better and have more confidence in myself. Because um, like I said, like it's so easy as your body is changing. So like look in the mirror and be like, mm, that's not me. Like that doesn't look like me or, you know, man, like you're looking at old pictures and you're like, oh, I used to be so skinny. But like, of course, because you weren't freaking pregnant. Like, <laughs> You know, so like a lot of things go through your mind. So having a partner that like desires you and like he, um, I wear these like little body suits that he calls onesies and he's like, oh, put one of those onesies on and let me see. <laughs> and I'm just like, you're such a weirdo. But like, you know, cause he can see my belly and he can see like the curve that I, you know, whatever curves I have left from this baby. Um, but you know, like he can see all that. And so it just makes me feel like a lot more desirable and a lot more comfortable in this pregnancy. So that's been like a really awesome thing to experience in the second trimester because first trimester I was just kind of like bloated and fat and so it was just like you know I was like pushing my stomach out really hard trying to make it look like I was pregnant but it wasn't really working but now that we're in the second trimester it's like obvious that I'm pregnant and it just like his his whole attitude about things is just like really positive really encouraging and like 
it's made things so much easier for me now in the second trimester. So speaking of like getting a little bit bigger and everything like that, maternity clothes. I have not bothered to purchase maternity clothes. This is something that I wore before I was pregnant. Um, I wear a lot of pajama pants, a lot of sweatpants. Um, I also wear Tay's clothes. Tay has a lot of dress work shirts. So um, if I have something that I have to do, like maybe I'm presenting something or I have to, um, you know, do like a client meeting, I'll put on one of his buttons ups and I'll just do the meeting in one of his shirts. Um, so yeah, like I, I didn't really go out and buy new clothes. My mom did buy me a few pieces. Um, which I'm very grateful for because like she bought me some stuff that is actually elastic at the waist because all my jeans and pants were not elastic. So that was really helpful. And then Tay's mom bought me my favorite, favorite pair of maternity stretch leggings and I have a maternity pair of jeans. So um, both of those came in handy because in October that was my wedding season so I was shooting a lot of weddings that month and it was just really helpful to have black pants that stretched that I didn't have to worry about when I was actually working so that was super super helpful and I'm so grateful for my mom and Tay's mom for like getting me a few pieces that I could like use to tide me over but now that I'm at the end of the second trimester I'm really not pressed about clothes I will wear Tay's clothes and call it a day I have those leggings so I'm not really worried about it but um at first in my mind I was gonna like go shopping and do all this extra stuff child please don't have the energy so that is pretty much it for my pregnancy update second trimester um, second trimester is so much better than first I'm not even gonna do I'm not even gonna do a video on first trimester because if I did a first trimester video people probably would not want to have kids because I have nothing good like when I look at the notes for my first trimester I had nothing good to say so um I am not even gonna go back and do that that's just gonna be for my own personal information and we're just gonna keep it at that I want you guys to know that second trimester is like so much easier and it actually does get better um and so you can kind of go on from there but I do want to share a few changes that I'm making to this YouTube channel now that I'm on this new motherhood journey and most of you guys know that I am an entrepreneur I'm a digital marketing strategist I'm a sales strategist I'm a photographer like I do a lot of different things and so because of that I actually want to switch the focus of this channel from just being a family channel to being a mompreneur channel because I know that a lot of people that were following me or that follow me on social media um, I know that a lot of you guys Guys are moms and you guys are building your businesses and trying to you know uh, be stay-at-home moms or some of you guys are stay-at-home moms and you want to start a business and because of that I want to create a space um, that is a resource and also a community right I want us to all be able to like have this shared experience of being moms of being business owners and how to grow together because I feel like a lot of times as moms we're so busy that our business takes a back seat or if you decide to focus on your business then your children kind of take a back seat which I can only imagine how like difficult that is like trying to balance the two or to figure out what to do so this channel is gonna switch over into being more about tips and tricks and hacks to help you with your um, marketing efforts with your sales efforts with um, growing your business with you know raising children like it's gonna be a mod podge of like lifestyle stuff and things to help you grow your business and so I'm really excited about like kind of switching the channel in that direction. So if you guys, um, Tay will still be popping up every once in a while. Um, he's not going to be in this video because he's not here. But um, he will still be popping up on the channel because I know y'all love Tay. And, um, and I will still be doing like a few vlogs here or there. You guys will get to meet Baby Hillman and all that kind of stuff. But I do also want to offer you guys like value and help you guys actually build um, a sustainable, profitable side hustle business whatever it is that you're trying to do i want to help you do that and balance mom life at the same time so i hope you guys are excited about those changes because i am i'm excited about like really pouring into you guys with more content that's like stuff that i you know that this is my day job this is what i do all day every day um so i'm so excited about sharing that with you guys so yes i think that's all for my update for my life update second trimester update the youtube channel update and yeah if you like this video um click below to subscribe i think you subscribe below click below hit the notification bell so that you get notifications when i am posting another video and that's all guys i'm so excited like, that's what i'm doing i'm so excited because like i can't believe i'm having a baby like this is so crazy I'm having like a whole human. Ah, okay. Ah, that's all. Thanks for watching.